as new advances there are several new things coming up and hopefully we'll see them approved for patients at some point. One of the new developments is the oral octreotide. So the oral octreotide phase three study has been published recently. It was a very large study, international study, introducing the oral octreotide to the patients. So how the study was designed overall the patients had to be controlled on an injectable somatostatin analog. Almost half of them were on octreotide LAR, almost half of them were on lariotide. And after they had been controlled, they had been switched to oral octreotide. This data has been published last year, and right now we're seeing more post hoc analysis related to the symptoms of these patients, how they have been improved after they've been to move to oral octreotide. We also had presented the data on how the dose escalation was done in the study because the study used a novel technique that combined to, for dose up titration. For these patients that have been switched from injectable, to a lower dose of oral octreotide, then the dose was up titrated based on both cross hormone and IGF-1 and symptoms. So we saw that the uncontrolled of symptoms also made some patients going up on a higher doses with subsequent control. We also noticed that most of the patients transitioning should be monitoring for breakthrough symptoms and clearly they have to be uh, to have a dose escalation if they are not controlled and for most patients in this study a starting dose of 60 milligram per day should provide continuity of response for most patients and overall we're if we're looking at the phase 3 clinical trials once the patients had been at the right dose and they finished the dose up titration, out of these type of patients, 85% of patients after that had been controlled and then a larger number of patients decided to stay in the extension phase. So this clearly shows that for the patients that are doing well on the oral octreotide, they had elected to continue in the extension study. and. Right now, another phase clinical trial uh, is in progress looking at the oral octreotide uh, in more detail in patients. So I think that overall, the development of an oral medication for the patients that need medical therapy, sometimes lifelong, would be a huge development. Exactly how many patients will be controlled in the end how many patients will elect to stay on this drug, uh, what's the long-term safety, though the uh, safety in the study was uh, really good and uh, the adverse effects were the known effects of somatostatin analogs and no new data uh, and, or red flags about the drug the, or the mechanism itself. But this would be very important for patients and hopefully the mechanism for the oral, that's a transient permeability enhancer that allows the absorption, will bring new drugs to life and the patients, instead of injections, can have an oral medication available.